These magnificent animals are called doll. They're also sometimes called Asiatic wild dog or red dog for obvious reasons. And even sometimes they are referred to as whistling dog. And they do have an extraordinary vocal range that includes a very high and sharp whistling sound. They're currently feeding on what is left of a sambar that they killed yesterday morning. I was very unfortunate. I've been here filming several days and yesterday I was in a hide all of the day, only about 600 meters from here. I didn't see anything at all. Um, but when I came back to the ranger station in the evening, some researchers who were based here told me about this kill. Very fortunately for me, there's still some meat on this carcass and the doll have returned this morning. This is quite a large clan. I've counted about 17 animals, but I can hear sounds around me in the forest, so there may well be more. I refer to them a as a clan uh, rather than a pack because they don't hunt together all of these animals. They will split into smaller groups, typically three to five animals for hunting, and then that is the hunting pack. Then if that pack makes a kill, the whole clan or group will come together as they are here and share it. Doll are a kind of dog, of course, um, although they're not terribly closely related to other dogs. Uh, they're in a genus of their own. And um, there are a couple of features which distinguish them from other species. They have a very distinct dentition. Their teeth seem to be specialized for shearing flesh off of bone very, very quickly. Now, this may be an adaptation to them sharing habitat quite often with other large predators, such as leopards or tigers, or even other clans of doll. So having made a kill, they definitely want to eat as much of it as quickly as they can in case uh, another animal comes and pushes them away or they're faced with some kind of conflict situation. In order to achieve this, they, apart from the dentition, they also have an extraordinary level of tolerance at a kill site. Young dogs will be allowed to feed first, and although there is a hierarchy in a clan, um, all animals, all adult animals, will also be able to come in and share the kill, and they don't fight and argue amongst themselves. Doll are distributed quite widely through parts of Asia, Southeast Asia, and possibly still up into China and Russia, but those populations are terribly fragmented and isolated, and the entire world population may now be less than 2,000 animals. That's a more dire situation than is faced by tigers, and yet it draws far less attention. Uh, so we are indeed privileged to see this group of doll feeding here in the forest in Hoi Ka King in Thailand, and uh, I very much hope that I'm able to come here and uh, see them again in the future.